उत्पाद है एंड आई वेलकम यू टू विजन ऑटोमेशन यूट्यूब चैनल आज हमारा फिफ्थ एपिसोड है इस पूरी सीरीज का सेंसर के फॉर आर्ट भी हूँ आज हम फिफ्थ रो देखने वाले हैं उसके अंदर क्या क्या सेंसर होंगे उसके क्या फीचर्स होंगे उसको कहाँ यूज होता है उसका क्या प्रिंसिपल है और उसकी वर्किंग कैसी है लास्ट एपिसोड बहुत स्पेशल होने वाला है तो अगर आपने कोई भी एपिसोड नहीं देखा तो प्लीज हर एपिसोड में नए सेंसर के बारे में आपको जानकारी मिलेगी तो प्लीज गो वॉच डिस्क्रिप्शन में मैं डाल दूंगा सो लेट्स गेट टू द पॉइंट सो फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव दिस आई आर रिसीवर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट दी आई आर एमिटर एंड नाउ वी हैव आई आर रिसीवर इंटरवेड आई आर रिसीवर मॉड्यूल फॉर आर्डवीनो एडेप्ट वन एट थ्री फाइव इंटरवेड receiving head light resistance strong electromagnetic interference built in infrared detected ic and can work under 500 lux light intensity it is widely used in stereo uh, tv uh, video games disc machines or uh, set top boxes that we are using right now uh, digital photo frames car stereo remote control toys satellite receiver hard disk air conditioner heater uh, electric fan light and other home appliances uh, ir module is a 38 kilohertz infrared receiver this is uh, which uh, is uh, arduino compatible it can receive standard of uh, 38 kilohertz modulated remote controlled signal through programming uh, uh, through programming the arduino you can realize decoding of the remote control signal using it item you can make a universal remote controller with the learning function for the reference its dimension is 2.5 1.5 at 1.5 cm receiving angle is 90 degree uh, it works on a voltage of 2.5 to 5.5 volts its frequency is 37.9 that is equivalent to 38 kilohertz receiving range is 18 meter its weight is 4 grams arduino ir module uh, its industrial name is ky022 reacts to 38 kilohertz and uh, it have 1838 ir receiver 1 kilo 1 kilo ohm resistor and an led it work together with ky005 that is ir transmitter module it is compatible to many platforms like arduino Raspberry Pi and ESP8266, commonly known as Node MCU. If you can see, this is a three-pin configuration, as denote for the signal that goes for pin 11, because we are using predefined libraries. The middle one is for 5 volt; it goes uh, to the 5 volt of Arduino, and the negative connects to the ground. Well, its working is very simple to understand. Uh, the emitter is simply an IR LED. And the detector is simply an IR photodiode. A photodiode is sensitive to IR lights on the same wavelength, which is emitted by an IR LED. Uh, when a uh, IR light falls on the photodiode, the resistance and uh, the output voltage will change in uh, proportion to the magnitude of IR receiver uh, that, uh, that uh, IR light is received. Uh, there are five basic element uh, used in a typical IR detection system. Uh, the first one is IR infrared source, a transmission module or a medium. Uh, third one is optical co- component. Fourth one is an infrared detector or a receiver that is it, and a signal processing. Infrared laser and infrared LEDs. of specific wavelength used in infrared source uh, the three main types of media used for infrared transmission are vacuum atmosphere and optical fiber optical uh, components are used to focus the infrared radiation or to limit the specific response when the ir transmitter re- emit radiation it reaches the object and some of the radiation reflect back to the ir receiver based on the intensity of the reception by the ir receiver the output of the sensor is defined so moving on to our next we have humidity and temperature sensor commonly known as dst11 or the newest version of dst22 firstly we need to know about what is humidity and its technicality humidity is the water vapor around you 
that are uh, that is mixed with air it is measured in percents so uh, if the humidity is 60% which is an average humidity then 60% of the air around you is water vapors if it is 100% then it means either the sensor is not correct or the sensor is broken or uh, maybe the arduino crashed or arduino can't receive any signal there is an error in the code that uh, you are under water if it is zero it means all the reason above except one last you are in space or either you are in the middle east in the deserts gulf countries even in the deserts uh, air contains a little bit amount of water uh, of around uh, 25 uh, percentage 25 percent and the example of that is the Sa is sahara desert because it contains around 23.4 percent of humidity and now let's get to the point uh, the dst11 is a digital output relative humidity and temperature sensor it uses a capacitive humidity sensor and a thermostat to measure the surrounding air and uh, sends a digital signal on the data pin the connections are very simple the power pin is connected to the 3.3 volt or 5 volt of arduino uh, its maximum current is 2.5 milli ampere it uh, accuracy about humidity is 2 to 5 percent plus minus temperature is uh, it can measure temperature up, uh, up to range of minus 40 degrees celsius to plus 80 degrees celsius and its ac accuracy is also its accuracy is also about uh, plus minus 0.5 degrees celsius data pin of this is connected to the arduino pin number 2 VCC is connected to the 5 volt ground is connected to the ground of arduino board and uh, we need to connect a 10k ohm resistance between the data and the VCC pin because uh, we need to pull up the resistors a DST11 is a low cost humidity temperature sensor uh, which provide high reliability and long term stability uh, it, uh, it uses a capacitive humidity sensor and a thermostat to measure the surrounding air uh, the output is a digital signal on the data pin no analog input pin is needed it's very simple to use. The libraries are uh, and the sample codes are available for both Arduino and Raspberry Pi. This uh, module makes it easy to connect. Basically, the working is very simple. Uh, the DHT11 detects water vapors by measuring the electrical resistance between two electrodes. The humidity sensor component uh, is a moisture holding substrate with electrodes applied to the surface when water vapor is absorbed by the substrates ions are released by the substrate which increases the conductivity between the electrodes the charge in resistance between the two electrodes is proportionally related related to the relative humidity higher the relative humidity decrease the resistance between the electrodes while lower relative humidity increases the resistance between the electrodes the dst11 uh, measures the temperature with a surface mount of the uh, ntc temperature sensor thermostat built-in unit uh, it is a built-in unit actually there are two types of dst11 that we can find uh, first one is pcb mounted that have three pin configuration and the sing uh, the, and the original one with four pin configuration that have VCC signal and the third one is not used it's simply not NA not available and the fourth one is ground the PCB mounted have additional of NK ohm for pull up resistors what we have next is a read switch module its industrial name is KY025 uh, basically uh, this read uh, switch module is a small electric switch which operates uh, with an applied magnetic field. Uh, this module can be used as a proximity sensor. The module has a digital and analog output. The potentiometer that you can see 
is uh, used to calibrate the sensitivity of the sensor for uh, analog output whereas the digital output is simply either 1 or 0 depending on whether the switch is open or close the digital mode uh, uh, sorry the digital mode is uh, the easiest to use because there is 50 50 chance of getting 1 and 0 or 0 let's talk about what is actually a read switch is so the read switch is uh, consists of a pair of contact of it uh, a read switch consists a pair of contacts of ferromagnetic metal reeds in a hermetical sealed glass envelope it consists of a pair of contract it consists of a pair it consists of a pair of contact on a ferromagnetic metal reed in a hermetically sealed glass envelopes the contact may be normally open closing when a magnetic field is present or normally closed and open when magnetic field is applied the vice versa case is there the switch uh, may be actuated by a coil making read a relay or uh, by bringing a magnetic uh, sorry magnetic field or we can say a magnet near the switch once the magnet is pulled away from the switch the read switch will go on its original position if it's close in original position it will get close it is open in the original position it's get open the example of a read switch application is to detect the opening of a door uh, when used as a proximity switch or an alarm for any theft control as you can see this is a four uh, pin configuration the a0 you can see is an analog output and the d0 you can see is digital out that is initially connected to uh, pin number z uh, 2 and analog out is connected to A0 if we are using original library they are predefined uh, the G you can see is ground which is connected to the ground pin in the Arduino and plus is 5 volt that is connected to the 5 volt VCC or 3.3 volt VCC let's get some glimpse that how a read sensor work uh, this sensor has three functional components on its circuit board one is the sensor unit in the front of a module which physically measures the current environment and uh, uh, if you can see here uh, output is an analog signal in the second unit the amplifier this amplifies the signal depending on uh, the resistance set uh, on the rotative potentiometer and sends it to the analog output of the module uh, and uh, there is a thing that what we should be noted that uh, the signal is inverted if a high value is measured this result is a lower voltage value at the analog output the third unit is a comparator which switches the digital output and uh, uh, the LED when the signal falls between a certain value by means of rotative potentiometer the sensitivity can be adjusted This sensor does not give absolute value uh, for uh, example exactly measure temperature in degree Celsius or a magnetic field in its SI unit of MP but it is relatively measure measurement. Uh, one defines a limit value relative to the given normal environment. One defines a limit value related to the given normal environment situation and a signal is given when you can be further proceed if its limit value is exceeded in another state then the normal case has occurs this behavior is excellent for temperature monitoring uh, for uh, KY028 proximity switches like KY024 KY025 and KY036 alarm monitoring for example KY037, KY038 or encoders KY026.
So what we have next? We have this buzzer, or I precisely say this is a passive buzzer. The passive buzzer, uh, the passive, the passive buzzer is slightly shorter one, uh, with the electronic exposure on the bottom. Uh, you have to send it an AC sound signal via the Arduino. The Arduino needs to generate the tone. Uh, this tone function is very important here. Uh, you can create music with this. Uh, it takes process time to generate the sounds, uh, so the other process might slow down. There are basically two types of buzzer. This is a passive buzzer, and the second one is an active buzzer. It uses a PWM signal. Uh, it works on a five volt normally. and uh, the signal range is between 0 to 5 volt in uh, practitioner situations uh, passive buzzers uh, passive buzzers are similar in function to a small speaker and you need to be driven by a waveform with enough driven current capable to create the desired sound uh, this is typically one uh, uh, sorry this is typically done using pwm from a microcontrolling unit this is a simple three configuration buzzer s denotes for the signal that is connected to our arduino the plus sign connected to the 5 volt of arduino and the negative sign is connected to the ground aaj ka episode yahi khatam hota hai main milunga aapse agle episode mein tab tak ke liye like kariye share kariye aur subscribe kariye wasa automation ko aur mere sath bane rahiye peace